I have a question for you. Question is, who will go in the exam to write the exam? You, right? So if you're going to write the exam, then you definitely need to improve your brain, improve and work, 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 improve the brain so that it can recall faster during exams. So that you can solve questions faster. You don't sit in thinking, kya tha? forgot the concept. That should not happen, right? And truly speaking, all the students work on the subject. They buy the best books. They buy the best, uh, you, they reach out to the best teachers. They enroll in the best coaching. But they don't work here. Right? In today's video, I'm going to give you not one, but you can see 13 pointers. Okay, 13 to 14 pointers I'll give you on how to do active recall. Active recall methods and now this thing I have developed over the past 17 years and I have more than 39 active recall methods. I'm just showing you 13. The rest is reserved for the Sharia Bad students. But yeah, so these are the 13 or 14 pointers which I'm going to give you. 13 or 14 different ways how you can improve your memory so that you can study faster, you can recall faster and this is a industry's you know demand today if you are able to recall better if you're if you're writing exam then only you can solve faster right and if you can solve faster and correctly then only you can score more and if you score more you know what happens you qualify csr and right so without wasting much time let's jump in to the beautiful world of active recall methods shall we let's just dive in Welcome back. So the first and important point for all of you, as you can see here, right here in front of you is active engagement, right? Active engagement. Okay. How do you do active engagement? Very simple. The first and foremost, the most basic method. Okay. This is the most basic, basic method of improving your recalling capacity. And that is you have to club three to four sense organs together. And that is audio, visual, writing and the creative memory okay so audio visual writing and the creative memory means you have to draw okay so active engagement actively study it's not like okay you're just watching a video no make notes it's not that you're just reading a book make notes and how do you make notes that i have always taught you in my different videos but for now let's keep that separate but for now yes actively engage yourself with the study material okay and how do you do that? We'll come in the next pointers. But for now, active engagement while you're studying club three to four sense organs. Let's jump in quickly to the next part. Quiz yourself, right? You remember when we, 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 when we used to study, what we used to do? We will, you know, open the book, look at the, not the paragraph, we'll just look at the title of the paragraph and then close the book and think, okay, what is there in that particular paragraph, right? For example, you opened and you see, uh, mitosis. Close the book. Now try to recall all the stages of my mitosis. You see, you open, you see cell cycle. Now close the book. Try to recall what is there in the cell cycle. What are the stages, right? So this is how you actively recall. Quiz yourself. That's the second point. Let's move on to the third one. And the third one, again, very important. Summarize and explain. So what do you do? Basically, similar thing. So you open the book, look at the topic. And now try to tell it in a summary, like, okay, what happens in meiosis, right? And explain that to yourself aloud, okay? So you are, you have already read that particular topic, so you open it, okay, my, mitosis, close it. Now explain how mitosis happens, what are the stages, which all things are involved, which all things are not involved, what are the, whatever you could recall, do it, okay? Summarize and explain, very simple. Now, the fourth one. Now, the, this video is going to be a boon to every stu uh, student who is preparing for CSI and it. Now, next, next one is use different formats. For example, okay, um, I always use the format of making notes like textual notes. Okay, this time I'll use a mind map. Like you can see the, at the back, this is a mind map, right? You can try the mind map format or maybe you try the coronal method format. Maybe you try the flowchart format. Maybe you try a poster format, right? Maybe you use different colors, right? 
So when you are doing that, you will feel that it is a waste of time. But no, you are not doing it by looking at the book. You are doing it from your memory. Right. So you started the topic. Now open the flowchart, open the chart book and draw it. So you are doing two things. You are actively recalling also. You are triggering your pictorial memory. That means your temporary memory is getting transferred to your permanent memory. That's what happens. That's the fourth point. Now quickly jump into the fifth one. Now the fifth one, which is not visible here, I guess, but I'll tell it tell for you. That is space out practice. Okay. Now space out practice is something which is very, very important, which is, okay, you studied today. Now you don't revise today. You revise after three days or again, do the revision after seventh day. So when you space out the revision, it becomes better. You get better recall. Be better recalling capacity because the, if the memory did not move from temporary to permanent, you can do that now by doing the revision at different timings and different time zones. That's how you do it. Now, the sixth one is test yourself, right? Now, test yourself. How do you do that? Very simple. Just take the question papers, previous question papers or AMNET papers if you are a biotechnical student or the monthly tests and uh, monthly quest and all the tests which we take. Test it out, okay? Test yourself for that particular topic. Very important. And if you have toughnet access, if you have the access of toughnet question bank or biotechnica, go and solve all the tough questions which has been asked from that particular topic. That will definitely help you rejig your memory and test yourself better. And you know what you can do? You can combine the fifth and sixth point. You can space out. Means you can, you studied today, maybe you test it out after three days again. So that will be better. The seventh strategy which I is personally follow at biotechnica and many students of mine uh, do it, teach someone. Okay, so what do you do? You ask in the class, okay, who is the weakest for this particular topic? Somebody will say, me. Okay, come, I'll teach you. So what happens is when you are training that way, you are also learning, right? Because you're listening, right? Tumhara revision ho hai, it's your revision, but for them, that's a first time. But when they're studying, they will have questions like, I didn't understand this part. Can you explain? You'll do it again, right? And that's what teach someone does. It's an amazing tool. You should try. It improves your memory like anything. Among all of these, I should I would say teaching someone is one of the more uh, one of the most effective. Now let's move on quickly to, to the next one, which we have here is take a friend's help. Now, how do you do that? So basically, you ask your friend that now uh, he will take the concept uh, cloud of Biotechnica or maybe the book. Concept cloud is better, but you can also take the book. So you take the book. He will open and from anywhere in the book or anywhere from the topic, he will ask a question. So he is framing questions and you are answering. Then you repeat, you are framing questions, he is answering, right? So take a, the uh, help of your friend. This is a very good way of, you know, rejigging your memory, moving it from uh, temporary to permanent. And this way you can recall faster because your friend is asking. So it's as good as a question uh, being asked by someone, right? So it becomes even better. And of course, this is again, one of the best methods I would recommend. The next point, which we have the ninth point here is skip and skim, right? So skip and skim. What do you do? You don't start, uh, read the entire thing. You just skip. So for example, you opened a page from the book, okay? Or the notes. You don't read the entire thing. You just try to read any random word, okay? And then close the book and try to recall what exactly I remember out of this. Right. Or what kind of questions I have solved for this particular topic. So when you try to do that, this ninth point is really helpful and you should try often. And I'm recommending this uh, for every student. It will help you because you are doing it randomly. So it's like you're going and somebody randomly asks you, do you know this? And you're like, OK, yeah, I do. So, you know, exam is also like that, right? Because when you are placed with for 145 question, randomly something will come. Right. So skip and skim. That's what happens in the exam also. So you start practicing that. Nobody told you, I'm telling you, do this from today. You will see amazing result. Now, let's look at the 10th one. Again, another thing, variety of question. Now you will think, sir, only MCQ will come in the CSI net exam. Why should I practice other formats? No, you should. Because other formats will further reject your memory. Because different challenges will help you improve your memory. It will help you recall faster and re repeat it better. So that's what variety of questions, maybe fill in the blanks, okay? Ask your friend or maybe you create some fill in the blanks and then try to solve it after 10 days. So that's a great way of doing it. Fill in the blanks or multiple choice or, um, uh, you know, match the following. These kind of questions you can have. And Biotechnica has a big chunk of big 
pool of such questions, you can always try that out. The next one which we have today is the 11th point, which is practicing different environment. Okay, what's that? Okay, let's look at that. Suppose I studied in my home, right? Now I'll try to recall when I'm in bus or I'll try to recall when I'm in uh, metro, right? Or somewhere or maybe school, college at the job. Why? Why? Because actually when you're writing the exam, that's a different environment, right? And you're trying to recall in a different environment. So your mind is already distracted because there are 40 other students who are also writing the same exam in, this, in that room, right? So the same way, when you go to an office or a college or uh, some bus or something, your mind is distracted. If you are able to re recall in that distracting environment also, you will definitely recall during the exam. So that's the point here. Practice in different environments. Now let's quickly move on to the next one. Mnemonics. So that is very simple. Mnemonics is like, okay, you have, um, you compress the word and try to recall like how, that's how you, we used to recall the periodic tables or any of the biochemistry reactions or cycles. We do that, right? So mnemonics, you can create on your own and try to recall. Okay. Now, many people will give you mnemonics. Like we also have mnemonics. You can go and in Biotechnica and check that out. So it will definitely help you. But what happens with mnemonics is if you yourself create, then you remember longer. Like I can create and give you, but you may not remember, right? You will not remember the longer form of that. So mnemonics is something very personal. You can always create your own. Now, the last one which I have for you is review regularly. What does it mean? It means that repeat all of these steps regularly. Okay. Not for one to topic, different topics, right? But keep doing. But when you do that, what happens is your memory improves, right? And repetition always in any format, repetition in any format, in any environment by anybody always helps you remember better, right? Remember, you're going to write the exam, not me. So you have to do this. I can just tell you these pointers, but I have 39 more pointers, which will help you. These were powerful pointers. There are 39 more pointers. I have written a complete book on this, actually. You can do all of this and become better in recall. You can be a memory missile, you can be a memory superpower if you practice this and other 39 pointers which I have. So what I'm trying to tell you here, that's, a, that's my conclusion now, is memory is important. Even though you're a logical machine, you need memory to write the exam. And we at Biotechnica, our masters are doing that. We teach you logically, scientifically, and we push you to design your flowcharts. We, we push you to design your mind maps. We push you to make scientific notes and that's how our students qualify. 600 plus people qualified and this time I want you to qualify. And how can that happen? Only when you enroll in Shorty Batch. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, enroll with us, see how we can transform your life from a regular student to a CSIN and JRF scholar or from a regular student to a GATE scholar. You have all the power, all the capacity, all the success ingredients. All you need is work, on your skill set of memory. Okay, I can get you the best teachers at Biotechnica. I'm getting you the best tools at Biotechnica and I'm getting you the best techniques of remembering. What do you need more? Come join us in Biotechnica Shara Batch and we will win together. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Till then.